In this activity, we're going to learn about writing data to a file. Now, to, you, to write to a file, we're going to be using a class called OFStream for output file stream, and that class is defined in the header file FStream. So we'll add that at the top, found include FStream, and then we'll have access to that class. Notice that in this main .cpp file there are several arrays and uh, each of them are completely full. There are 20, their, their size is 20, they're completely full, and these are associated arrays. And that means that the third element in this array is associated with the third element in this array, and the third element in the towns array, and the third element in the names array. So they're associated, and they're, so the location where they are in the array uh, connects uh, associated data. All right, what we want to do is create a variable of type OFStream. And so now we know what the type is, right? It says right there in the comment, OFStream is the type. We can give it whatever name we want. I'm going to call this one out. And there I've defined a variable of type output file stream. And now I want to open that file. And so the way I do that is use its name out dot, that's the object dot method and open. And then as a parameter of the open, I'm going to put the name of the file. And so the name of the file is commute.txt. But we don't want it to be in, we're going to be in the build folder is where we're going to be working. And so we want this to be stored outside the build folder. So we're going to say dot dot slash to say go up one folder and store the commute folder there. So that's how we define an object of type OFStream. We create the object and then we open it and associate it with the output file that we want to use. Now, remember that when we were using input file streams, it was really important to test to see if they were open. Because if they weren't open, we couldn't read anything from them. And that's what we were using an input file stream from. When we're writing, so when we open an output file stream, if it's not if the file isn't there, it will be created. So we're going to write to the file. If it's there, it will truncate the file. It'll empty the file and start at the beginning and write. And there are actually ways that you can change it so it starts at the end, so you can append at the end if you want. But without using any special flags, it will automatically just empty it and you'll write and it'll start writing at the beginning. If it doesn't exist, it just simply creates the file and then begins writing at the top. So it doesn't matter. On an output file, you don't have to test to see if it already exists because it takes care of it whether it exists or not. So we won't have to add an if statement for that. Now we want to write to this file. We want to write commute minutes and commute miles to that file. So we're going to be able to use the insertion operator just like we use with cout but now we're going to use it with this object. So the object is out, and we're going to be able to write something there. So let's just go ahead and write the very first one, uh, just to practice, right? So we do commute minutes. So let's go ahead and do the commute minutes. And we'll just do the zero element. And then uh, we can do commute. We're going to need a space here because we don't want them to be bunched up against each other. And we already know that if we don't put the spaces, they don't exist, right? And then we can put, put the commute uh, miles. And again, it is it index 0. And then let's go ahead and do an end L. All right, so let's go ahead and see how this works. And then we can run it. They're in. Oh, and it doesn't appear that anything happened. So let's see if we can identify what happened. Even though nothing was printed to the output, if we look at the file, there it is. We, this new file has been created called commute.txt, and it printed out those values just as we expected. So that's how we write to a file. Notice that we use the same insertion operator, the same um, string constants to make it look right, the same end L. Now let's go ahead, we want to write all of these to the file. So we want to put these in a for loop. 
And we'll just start at int i, and we want to go as long as it's less than k max size. Now remember, we're doing the whole thing because these arrays are all full. So we don't have to keep track of uh, where we are in the array because we're using the entire array. And then we can just put this. We can use what we did before with a little bit of change, right? We don't want to always do index 0. Now we want to do index i, and that will change for every loop as we go through. So we save that, go out and build it, and run it. Again, nothing shows up here. We go back to our commute.txt file, and there, we've written the entire data, all of the minutes and all of the miles for the commutes. Now before we're done, we want to close this file. So we've written everything out there that we want to, so we just do out.close, and that file has been closed.